On this video, I will be showing you how to test your capacitor to make sure that it is operating at the proper specifications. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a multimeter. Make sure that whatever multimeter you do purchase, that it does have this function, MFD. That is basically an abbreviation for microfarads. You want to make sure all multimeters do not have that setting. Um, this specific Klein tool, the CL2300, which I purchased, I purchased specifically for that setting. So you just want to make sure that it has that option. If it doesn't have that option, you won't have the ability or, capa or capacity to check your capacitor. So on this capacitor here, you can see it has C for common, ERM for your compressor and F for your fan motor. What we're going to do first is we are going to take the common and we're going to put one lead on the common and one lead on the erm. So you can see here on this capacitor we're looking for a reading of 35 and 5. If you're trying to find the 35 you're gonna you're gonna connect your um, one lead to your common and one lead to your erm and then you want to check and make sure that it is coming out at the proper readings which we do have here if you do happen to put your black and your red opposite you'll still get the same reading so don't worry about that you just want to make sure that one lead is on common and one lead is on erm Next, we're going to look at 5, and again, MFD simply means microfarads. Uh, you can see here we have one lead on the common and one lead on the F fan, and you can see here we're getting the proper reading. You can see here we have a smaller capacitor. You're looking at the reading 5 MFD. Again, that's for microfarads. And you can see here that we have the same reading. Okay, so here we have the actual capacitor that was replaced. And you can see here I've connected it like I showed you on the good capacitors. You can see here I'm not getting any reading at all. You can see here I've connected the common and the fan, and I'm still not getting a reading. So at least at this point, minimally, you know that your capacitor is not working. Again, um, the call that I got for this unit was the uh, AC was not working. When I went outside, the first thing I always do is I remove the panel and I press the contactor in. And when I press the contactor, I could hear it um, getting power, but the fan motor and the compressor were not turning on. So again, this was just a, a, a simple video just showing you how to test your capacitor make sure that if you take out a capacitor that you put the same exact capacitor back in you want to make sure that it has the same numbers this one's 35 5 370 VAC you want to make sure that whenever you put the new one that it has the same ex same exact specifications